Okay, this is an action figure review for two figures, Robocop and Terminator. So you can see the comparison. There are two different series, totally different years as well, but yet they go together nicely. I'll take Robocop off his stand here. This is the NECA Terminator 2 T800 figure. You can see all the detail. Jacket is rubbery cloth. Everything else is hard material. Articulation wise, you can move the head up and down, side to side. There's waist rotation. Right here at the thigh, you can rotate it. No real movement in the feet. Let's take off his gun here because it is removable. Shoulders can go up and down, side to side. Bicep can go. Actually, there is no bicep articulation, but the elbow can go up and down, side to side, wrist. Same thing on the other side. I like the detail on this figure, it's really nice. Like you could even see the bullet holes on him. It's really good. Okay, and here's Robocop. This is McFarlane Movie Maniacs. Robocop. Still looks very good. Articulation wise, you can rotate the head left and right. Not up and down though. Shoulders up and down, slightly to the side. Same thing the other side. Bend the elbow. Forearm rotation. Gun is removable. Rotate the waist. For the legs, go up and down. Slightly side to side, but not much. You can bend the knee and the foot. Very nicely detailed. I mean, it looks like they just shrank Robocop and put him in a box for us to buy. So, if you're a fan of both Robocop and Terminator, you should get both of these figures. Or if you just want to have them displayed, you know, they go great together actually. It's really good. But yeah.